Hello, uh, it's a Zack again, Nomadic Cars Archery. Uh, brand new t-shirt, happy birthday to me. Speaking of which, since you can salute, let's salute together. So, what do we talk about today? Uh, suddenly I noticed that uh, everybody is using Stingray on the bows lately. I mean, everybody is fishing to it. And uh, sadly, I noticed that uh, nobody is doing it right. Everybody is just cutting the corners and uh, what they charge, like 50 bucks extra for using five bucks piece of skin and charging you 50 bucks for it. That's like hundred bucks an hour. I mean, I know those guys are skilled guys, but uh, still, it's kind of too much. So like I did on my uh, arrows, yeah, I can hardly see. We still don't have proper camera. We're using cell phone. So hopefully with the Patreon support, we can get proper equipment and film it for real. But for now, this is what we got. So I got Tiron by uh, Mishko Rolchanin. Beautiful trout. And I'm gonna use this one because it came with nothing. It came a couple of years ago, don't worry about it. Uh, so we're gonna put arrow pass. So you see, this is the let me find, yeah, this piece. This is the piece of stingray that it came one with the fuzzy, uh, fuzzy back. It's a regular leather, it's a really nice if you're gonna make purses and so on. If you're gonna do arrows, not so much. In order to thin it, you can see, hardly see, but when I use grinder on it, those little buttons or scales, I'm gonna call them button, uh, they tend to fly off and it doesn't look that representative. It's also very thick. Then uh, you have to grind it down. So what I did, I used uh, fuzzy leather and uh, I glue it on this piece of bamboo. Right now I got uh, sandpaper on it. So basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna apply fish glue on it. Put it on a piece of bamboo or whatever you find, any piece of pipe or wood. Glue it on and then apply glue on this part, which is gonna, which is gonna make it harder. Then you're gonna use uh, basically sticks with the sandpaper on it. And uh, you can use that to file it down because uh, glue, like you can see on this side, it's gonna become much harder. And eventually, if you got proper skill, you're gonna end up with something like this. I know it's a fuzzy, but I have no solution to it. And it's very thin. You can see here, you can see straight through it. That's why I kept this light on. And uh, I brought this one down to half a millimeter. Even at this point, you can see it through. So, oops, one of them fell off. That's a problem. If you got it too thin, if you got it down to half a millimeter, it will start start falling apart. There's nothing to hold it on. So this one, I uh, sand it down. This is the back. 
this is front I send it down to half a millimeter no my bad to one to one and a half millimeters so at this point we can work with it also I soak it up in a water and let it dry for an hour so now it's it's stretched but uh, it's still some flex to it so let's see if I still have enough yep I still have enough to put it on so this one is uh, cinnabar red and it's gonna go very nicely with uh, plum wood you can notice this coloration I had a handle and then I removed it and the light picked it up so at this point I can see what I'm doing so first things first 320 if I'm not mistaken sandpaper and I'm gonna lightly send down uh, this is in order to wake up the locker Oh, wrong side this is in order to wake up the finish so glue will uh, how to say bite let's use that word just a light sanding I'm not basically removing anything And as always, we got wet cloth and the dry cloth, which is towel in this case. So, we did that. We also used this cup to soak up. This is artificial sinew. You can buy it in any store that sells you can get it online so I'm gonna put it in a towel squeeze most of the water out of it uh, nice thing about artificial sinew is it will uh, expand when it's wet when it dries it will shrink in so we are seven or eight minutes into it and I got 20 minutes of time so I better get on with it so here's fish glue it's also called violin makers glue and this is what we're gonna use again I turn it upside down but that's okay so I'm gonna put a liberal amount of glue on it because it is not that expensive but also we don't want to create any mess so I hope you can see what I'm doing here I'm spreading it with a finger all over it you can go wider because we're gonna clean it off afterwards so I'll leave the bowl and we're gonna add some to our stingray make sure you got it only on the back not on the front because you're gonna create clumps and stuff like that so okay always 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 clean fingers and since everybody prefer to have a joint up uh, up front we're gonna go for that look as well you see at this point it can scratch and we sort of ended up like this 
it's messy that's why we have wet and dry cloth and we're gonna start wrapping it up move this away we don't need it I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna start from the middle okay reason I'm starting from middle now is because when I do arrows it tends to uh, go sideways and I still gonna keep pushing it in and stretching this so we're gonna make really nice binding that goes that holds everything nice tightly together if you start from one side what tends to happen is uh, it will swirl out you won't have that really nice finish so okay so I'm almost over I'm gonna keep wiping off glue keep knocking off things but that's okay Okay, so now I'm, I'm at the end, you see what I'm doing? I hope you do, because it's very important if I see what I do. Okay, so this half looks pretty decent. And I'm gonna go up on the top side. Okay, what is very important is checking if your joint is touching each other. If it doesn't, we do have option for that as well, which we're going to explain in a second part. But we want to make it, we want to make sure that everything looks nice and representative. We don't want to make it way too thick. That's a major part. So, so far, it looks very, very nice. We're very close. Again, that's a beauty with the, with the fish glue or hide glue, if you decide to use that one, which I would highly recommend. You can wipe it off. It's easier to wipe it off now then wipe it off later so at this point first part of the video second part will be tomorrow which is gonna wrap it up and let it dry for 24 hours when we do video about the arrows we're gonna make logo and all of that and uh, that's gonna be for Jacek Kaminski, it's gonna be his arrow so he can do some testing and uh, we'll see how it fares. I hope it will be good, but we never know. That's why we uh, test things. So, at this point, here we go. I'm gonna make a loop. Stretch it as, as much as we can. Wet cloth again. Wipe it off. It's easier now than later. I love when it squeaks. And we ended up with... It's upside down, but... I hope it's gonna fare well so we're gonna let it dry for 24 hours in the meantime I'm gonna show you another thing that yeah this is how it looks back 
this is your front. You want to use this for arrow pass. I uh, I try to use uh, power tools, but power tools rip the buttons off. So you have to use hand tools. Also, when you cut, I hope you can see how small it is. Probably like a one millimeter. We can use these things to decorate, but don't throw them out. Because if you didn't do joint properly, you can always use those little dots and insert them, re-glue them, wrap it up. So when somebody picks the bow and like, wow, I really can't see where did you make a joint. That's how you do it. So all these things that keep falling off, don't throw, throw them away, put them in a jar. Once you got the red ones, green ones, blue ones, then we can uh, make little patterns, we can make initials, logos, whatnot. In order to uh, prepare, here we got the uh, white stingray. It's hard to see, but this would be Semagala. This is uh, stingray rawhide, and uh, this is what Japanese use for their swords. I'm sure Manchus use it as well because they're not far away, and uh, it would be logical for them to use. I don't know if they did or didn't. Leave the comments and tell me. Otherwise, that's how we learn together. Uh, also, if you wish to use power tools, you can use on a Dremel. This is called the flex wheel, and it will flex. It's very cheap, and these pieces, they just go snap on. And you would actually, how should I use it? Oh, it's easier. You would use it like this. But once again, don't use it too harshly because uh, it creates heat. I mean, it creates friction and friction creates a heat. And that's what it makes it to pop off. Also, you can use these buffing wheels. I'll show you on next video how to use it. Again, uh, make, uh, make the tool do the work. Don't press it too hard, don't work. Make sure you always close your glue, otherwise it can cost a lot of money. So that would be our update for today. Once again, thank you Mishka Rochenin for beautiful bow. Hopefully tomorrow we can make another video and see how it goes usually it takes 24 hours and i am not really patient guys so i kind of open it take a look push pull uh, that's the beauty about the natural glues with the crazy glue you're done once you put it that's it you can't fix it so i hope this explains it for now uh, please subscribe if you're uh, if you're not subscribed subscribed by now make sure you uh, share my videos so so many people got so many questions but they don't know that somebody is actually explaining those things we can look into quivers we can look into so many things please consider uh, supporting me on uh, patreon I'm gonna make sure there's a link for it that really helped with the with the thumb rings and everything and uh, hopefully one day I can like everybody else I can afford computer so I can edit videos because right now I'm doing it on a cell phone and it's not that great but it is what it is yeah so Semagawa being a rawhide uh, 
I'm soaking it up in the water. So I hope it's uh, soft enough so I can show you how pliable it is. You can do pretty much whatever you want to it. You just have to soak it up and it's so beautiful to work. Once you glue it on, you can uh, do miracles with it. You can add the colors and all of that. Once the stores are back to uh, back open, then uh, we can experiment with the pigments and uh, all of that. In meantime, please subscribe. Please share the videos on social media. Share it on uh, Atarn on Chinese archery, you name it, on a Facebook, Instagram, all the other platforms. Please consider uh, supporting me on uh, Patreon and please subscribe. Uh, more su subscribers I got, sooner I gonna be in position that uh, you're gonna be annoyed with commercials, I gonna be annoyed that somebody actually gonna pay for it, because right now I'm doing this for free. So thank you very much, Zach Nomadic Arts Archery, my birthday t-shirt, goes to the Navigator, really nice, my daughter bought it for me, mm -hmm. and since my birthday is tomorrow and I got drunk yesterday, cheers!